both of these squads. Uh, both of these teams, hinahabol talaga. Wherever the ball goes, says, we welcome you to set number four between VNS and the Navigators Ilo Ilo Live on One Sports. Dip Dip Yanko alongside Ivy Rimulia calling this match and Torin Suay Baguio for our reports on the sidelines. So after losing set number one, the Navigators bouncing back with two straight sets. So finally, they're ahead here. Take a look at this play. Mangolabdan setting up Bagalay. And that's their first point here in set number four. Mangolabdan, though, playing well in this game, has 19 excellent sets. But this Kitado scores once again. Two serving one here in the fourth set. This Kitado, as we've talked about throughout the coverage, playing with a lot of confidence right now. Not that he needed more because he's had it. That's right. His last confidence. But you know, to be able to get called up in that national team pool means a lot to him as you can see he's all smiles and really throwing up that uh, yung heart na yun kanina pa niya pinapakita oh. eh, no? all love coming from Jade Disquetado and you think siguro yun nga because one of his goals has been answered yung has been ticked off nga sabi yeah. diba so I think it's that's why he's really in very high spirits only 18 years of age Talking about this Kitado. Those are the loose balls that we've been talking Really, everyone diving for it. Back row attack from Buslig. Does not work. Coverage again was there. De Pedro. It's up. It's sent to Bagalay. Adao was there. Cortez stretches. And scores. Good play from Cortez. Look at the extension from Cordes in this play. You would have thought that he would hit a hard ball. Back to back points for the Navigators. Now with a two point lead. Bagkalay. The chase once again for Ilo Ilo, a high free ball. A look at Medalia. And again, that's outside for Medalia. He was probably trying to aim for a touch ball there in the hands of the blockers, but yeah, that was just too much angle. Disquetado. Medalia gets a touch on it. Bagalay. Well, they've been reading the attacks of Bagalay well. Itong the navigators Ilo Ilo. And this time it drops for Pemi. He's gonna keep trying talking about Pemi Bagalay. The thing about, you know, uh, Pemi is that he doesn't have as a high reach as the others. Yeah. But he knows where to bring the ball and kusanya padada anin. Using more of his smarts. Violation para sa Ilo Ilo. And it's VNS's turn to get back to back points as they chip the lead down to one. Fronta. Guaza again. And the efficiency continues for Apolinario and Guaza. Not the tallest middle blocker actually mm -hmm. to Tosi Guaza, right. but just the right vertical to be able to get those attacks in. Disquetado sets up that attack. And that's outside for VNS. The 
Nas Guaza heads to the service line. Mangulabnan goes middle. Naabangan ni Jade. No connection there, but it ends up on the side of VNS. Cruz wants to set up Medalia, and he scores off the block. Dahlia going into the blockers. This is good for VNS just holding on. Mm -hmm. Dito sa the navigators, two points away. If they want to try and extend it to a fifth set. De Pedro doesn't get anything there. Bagalay gets one to drop. Good setup by Ron Medalia. And Medalia continues to serve for VNS. His first conference back from that injury. Oh, Cortez has been silently getting those skills too, Ivy. That's right. This has been actually uh, effective here. And then in set number three, you know, he has caused a lot of damage for a VNS. Oh, what we're seeing is a lot of Disquetado and Guaza and De Pedro, but Cordes has been steady. But VNS answers right back. Pretty much within striking distance. That was Puslik. Been a while since he scored in this game. Ooh, what a running attack from Rash Nursidik. Let's take a look at that last play once again. What a hit from the middle blocker as we reach the first technical timeout. Babalik tayo here on One Sports. Dip and Ivy, it's VNS head coach Rafa Campos' birthday tomorrow, and meron siyang dalawang birthday wishes. Number one for VNS to get their second straight win today, and number two to receive more sponsorships, not only for VNS but also for a small team in Payatas that he also coaches. Nakabilip nga itong si coach Raf dahil eight years na siyang nagco-coach for free sa isang public school because of his passion of giving a chance through volleyball to kids from less privileged communities. Through more sponsorships of shoes and volleyballs, Coach Raf hopes to help more children fulfill their potential through this sport. Back to you guys. Thank you, Doreen, for that report. Uh, well, first off, advanced happy birthday. That's right. Okay, Coach Ralph Ocampo. Yes, uh, isa sa mga pinaka-fresh nating coach right. dito sa <laughs> Spiker Stir. Right, and uh, has been around also for for quite a while and as mentioned by Doreen, no? ang ganda nung ginagawa yeah. niya for, for the That's sport, right. for the community of Payatas, and really just goes to show the passion is there. Kaya nga yung team niya, pangalan VNS, eh, because Volleyball never stops for okay. him, and and hopefully, if if anyone who's watching wants to also help out the sport and coach Ralph Ocampo's cause, de ba? It's always nice to see because yung mga ganyang bagay grassroots, de ba? Talagang you help out the younger people, the younger kids who want to become professional volleyball players That's in the right. future. And you know, not only that, but we all know the the difference then of what. Sports can teach, yes. you know, our, our young young ones. Eh. So maybe if it's not on a eventually a professional track in the future, but being involved in sports, you can right. develop uh, one's one's personality in an in individual person. Right. 
running attack from Dorsidic. But really, you're right, not everyone would end up playing it for their entire lives, but the values that it teaches, what you will carry on in your entire life, is really a lot that will help you. Pero to pinag usapan natin, lumamang na ngayon VNS, you know? So, mong buenas yung birthday right. ni Coach Oo, Ralph. Mukhang may paregalo, VNS, <laughs> para kay Coach. <laughs> It's kept alive here. And that's a point for Engay. Smart play. That smart move there from Engay. What a tip. Just over the blockers of VNS and they regain the lead. 10 serving 9. Mangulab na, no. The chase though by De Pedro keeps it alive. Fronda off the block. Ibarin yung palo na tong si Fronde. May power din mm. coming from the middle. And you know, I think it, the VNS really should maximize their medals more. Mm -hmm. Because they also can bring in a lot to the plate. And Fronda has been uh, performing very well para That's dito right. sa VNS. That's Russ Fronda. Throw attack, Malaki Buslig. Jake Buslig only scored a point in their last game against Vanguard. But helping out his team here in set number four. Engay again. Was not able to score itong si Ren Zengai for the Navigators in their last game. But that's what happens when you're playing an extended game. Nabubunot at bubunot ka na ng players. That's right. But the starters are there continuing to score for VNS. That's Fronta again. That height used to perfection. All 6-3 of Russ Fronta. Apolinario ups it to De Pedro. Bagalay sends it to the other side. De Pedro ulit. Tough angle. The quick. And it works. The donut hole in the middle with the defense of the, the Navigators. And of course, they go once again to the middle. Two-point lead for the VNS Griffins. And Guaza will score right back. Mangulabnan. That does not cross over. We're now tied 13 all. Oh, re really? It's just set number two. Mm -hmm. Ito, dalawang kuponan na to. But the rest of the way, it's been close. And how easily the momentum switches for both teams. Balik ang kalamangan ngayon sa the Navigators. Back set to Medalia. Rejected by Cordes. Almost a good save for VNS. Two point lead, cut down to one with that error. Fourteen serving fifteen as Fronta will work from the back. It's the middles of VNS no, that have been getting a lot of errors from, from the service line. Uh, we reach the second technical timeout. Two point lead for the navigators. Babalik tayo here on One Sports.
back here on One Sports. You're still catching the Spikers Turf 2023 Open Conference. We are nearing the end stage of set number four. And the Navigators, Ilo Ilo, looking to complete this one and keep their undefeated record alive. Meanwhile, for the VNS Griffins, they want to build on their last win, go for two straight. Medalia serving for VNS. And again, we've talked about Cordes. Cordes now with 16 points, 15 wow. from attack and one from block. Cordes only had nine in that game against NU. He's got 16 today. Buslig straight to Adao. Apolinario sets up Cordes again. This time it's popped up. Pagalay. Checked. Cordes for another one. And why not? Because he has been hot. Cordes has done the damage in uh, set number three and he is continuing to do that here in this set. Jerome Cordes scores as we listen into the timeout of VNS. Puro cross sila. Cross, yung block nyo, yung marker nyo. Makita nyo yung, alam nyo ba-block sila. Blockan nyo na yung cross. Oh, nangyayari kasi nilalakas sila, nilalakas sila kasi alam nila nakatakip yung line eh. Kanina pe. Okay, adjust lang tayo doon. Tatlo lang yan. Kaya pa natin yan. Let's go. 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 Let's
all the help they can get. Rinyon will be the one to serve. Had that crucial error in set number three. This one is through. Disquitado. His attack is wide. Too much power on that hit. He really wants that point. Isa na lang ang hinahabol ng VNS. They want to go back to Jade. And this time he gets a touch from the blockers of VNS. So mga 30 seconds lang nawala yung ngiti sa mukha ni Jade. It was back right away. At the best first ball, gagawan ng paraan. Second try, a bit too low on the set. Medalia sends it to Puslig, who scores. That touched the hands of Disquitado. VNS at one point has to take advantage. They can't afford to exchange points. Consecutive points is what they need. Ooh, oh. na abut pa ni Guaza. Again, that's the advantage of having a hang time, but a good setting job as well from Pelinario. That was one of the difficult set. Twenty-two serving twenty. Deximo upset. Look at the length of Guaza getting a touch once again. And a costly error for the captain, Ron Medalia. Baby, that one. Three points down. 20-23, timeout called by Coach Ralfo Campo. We should be able to fight for the point. So, we're just going to fight for it. That's right. We're not going to fight for it. We're not going to fight for it. We're going to fight for it. We're going to fight for it. One shot, one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. Let's go, let's go! Let's go, BNF3! One, two, three! BNF3! Three points are in Habol here in VNS. But obviously with how the game has gone, there's still hope for VNS. Now that the starters are back as well, Jan Mangulabnan will front the medalia, Bagalay, Buslik, and Cruz. Para naman sa the navigators, Apolinario will serve. Mangulabnan will chase medalia with approach, colliding these players, and sumobra. Yung set na yun. that leads to a point for VNS. Still a chance here for VNS. Collision there on the floor. Yep. That's the set uh, a bit too much. No? The magpasta sa kabilang side sa VNS. 21 serving 23. Steady first ball. Here comes this Kitado. Cruz. The pop set. Medalia powers his way. Free ball given up. VNS with another chance. Chan goes to the middle to Fronda. And again, you know, you activate your medals. Look at this connection by Mangulabnan to Russ from that timeout called by the Navigators. Time out called by the navigators after a couple of points from VNS who are staying alive. Ooh! Costly error there on the side of VNS, but they are still not out of this game. They're just down by two points. They just have to make sure that they 
get a side out for this one. Right, that's what you call timeouts for. To ice the server, to talk things through. And just like that, the navigators are at match point. Mangulabnan sends it to the left to Bagalay, who keeps them alive. 23-24. They go to Pemi. And they send in Andrada for the first time. Very crucial serve here. The biggest serve of the match. That is outside. And the Navigators win this one. Three sets to one as they stay undefeated. Three straight wins for the newcomers in the Spikers turf. And VNS drops down to one and two. What a match we've had.